All right, after a small hiatus of about a week or so, we're back in the saddle again. Today, I'm going to be doing this London broil Angus sous vide. This is going to be something. And I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. But seeing how it's only about 11 o'clock in the afternoon, or 12, we ain't doing any drinking right now. We'll do that later tonight. Because this is going to be a mighty long cook. We're going to sous vide this for about eight hours. And we're going to keep this as simple as simple can be. We're going to use some Kingsford Cajun style. Because why not? And we'll get her seasoned up right here in uh, its own packaging. It's looking beautiful. Plenty of that seasoning on there because that ain't going to hurt nothing. All right. Hand washed off. Little trick if you don't know, sous vide. Take your bag, fold her down, like so. So then when you go to insert your meat, you don't get any uh, meat juice or whatever you want to call it on the outside. Get all that lapped up right there. Get that lapped up and on it. There we go. Get her in there. Yeah, should have had a paper towel ready for my dirty hands. All right. Get her in there. Flip your bag over. It's a little too much bag, but that's okay. Eh, I better trim her. Hold on. There we go. That's just fine. All right. Snug as a bug in a rug. Woo! Look how pretty that is. Put her down in the water bath. Set this baby for eight hours. Oops. Go back. Oops. Go up. Oops. Go back. <laughs> Whoop. Okay. There we go. Eight hours. See you then. All right, let's get an update on this uh, cook we got going on here. Geez, there for a minute, I can't even remember what we're cooking. <laughs> Holy crap. We're about three hours to go. Eh, look pretty nice. Oh yeah. So in the meanwhile, we're gonna make some chimichurri sauce. Woo, everybody loves chimichurri. Beauty of chimichurri is you can make it about a thousand different ways, if not more, and it's still chimichurri. Uh, so let's get it on. We got a half a cup of very nice extra virgin olive oil mediterranean market and there's packed in italy so we get a half a cup of that god no spill that and we're going to cheat or do it the easy way however you want to look at it doing a food processor and then we got a uh, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar Come on. Come on. 
So one, two. Now, I don't have any red chilies, so we're using some dried ancho chilies. But like I said, chimichurri, you can make it any way you want. Well, I mean, to an extent. And I've added some uh, red pepper flakes. And you got your oregano, garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Now we'll stir it up. And then we'll add as necessary. If it's not even going to be necessary. Get off there. Dang it. See what happens. Oh, let's go pulse. We'll pulse this. I think that's the best way to go with chimichurri. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know about that. Usually chimichurri is green. I don't know what this has got going on. <laughs> it's yellow. Gosh, let me get a spoon for a taste tester. I'm a little nervous about this. Look at this bad boy. Them anchos ain't getting cut up the way I want to. Tastes a little vinegary to me. I'm going to pulse it a little more. I don't like the way this is looking. Oh well. I'm one that admits my failures. Let's taste this. I bet it's disgusting. <clears throat> That's not too bad, but I think... Huh. I don't know why it's yellow like that, though. <sighs> hmm. Definitely a little more red pepper. I think a pinch of salt. That's a pinch. And then, man, I think some more oregano. Let's use some oregano. Let's put some dried oregano in there. I used fresh oregano. We're going to use some cheap old whole oregano. Now, we're just going to put her in there. I don't like that those... We'll go like this, full black. Ah, oh, that sucks. What the heck? No, let's go this way. I don't like that them chilies ain't getting cut up. Maybe I should have diced them first. Now let's try it. I don't like that. That's not very much chimichurri either. I'm gonna have to double this up. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's gross. Oh God. <coughs> oh man, I don't know what the hell it was I just ate. <coughs> oh, yuck. All right, <laughs> cancel that for now. I'll go back to the drawing board on this. Look what we got there. First person you can guess what I forgot in the last batch wins a shiny nickel. You'll win a shiny nickel. That's right, it was the main ingredient, parsley. <laughs> and I'm a little short on parsley, so we're going to use not only the fresh leaves and stems, but some little dry. So, let's try this again, kids. Main reason not to drink and cook. You forget a whole bunch of stuff. Alright, there goes our olive oil. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. squirt and we'll put our parsley in there and this time it'll actually taste like chimichurri we're going to do a sprinkle of 
crushed red peppers. We are going to do three quarter uh, teaspoon of oregano. That's it. I'm gonna do a little salt because the salt and pepper you pretty much do to taste. And we'll figure that out after we get everything combobulated. As for this chili, I don't know. Because it just wouldn't cut up. And I really don't feel like sitting here and doing this. So, we're going to compromise or... Uh, and I'm going to add some chipotle peppers from adobo sauce. Well, in adobo sauce, but we're going to pick them out of there. Woo! Those smell spicy. You better take it easy with those. Get you about a spoonful, and then we'll see. All right, I think we got it now. God dang it, the garlic. That would have ruined everything. I'm getting... Okay. Smash it's the easy way to do it. Then you don't get, a, get it all up in your fingernails that tends to burn ah, god all right let's go over this again pepper and taste red pepper parsley oh yeah i just wrote that down uh, oregano garlic i don't know vinegar all right let's get her jesus do not drink and cook or drive. That's looking better. I think the first, or er, time I ever made this though, I used a uh, white vinegar. I think it gives it a little more pleasant look. And this is always better after you refrigerate it for a few hours. That's why I'm doing it now. Because then our meat will be done in about... And I got two hours and 44 minutes left. So that'd be about perfect. Let's see what this tastes like. No, oh, I got much better. Much better. But, huh. I think I'm going to throw a couple more of these in there. I'll just, I'll throw that fat boy in there right there. And... Huh. We'll just try that. See that? Let me take my hat off. It's a good gander at that. Mmm. Right. Oh. Okay, we're gonna call that good. I'm gonna refrigerate it until that's done. And then we'll holler back at you. Update on the London broil. Let's see. We got an hour and 19 minutes left to go. Let's take a gander at her. 
Ooh, look at that. So it's intermission time. And I'm going to make my version of, I'm not gonna say what it is, because I'd probably catch flack. So I'll just say this is a, um, a white Swedish, that's what we'll call it. Swedish vodka. So get you a little pour in there. This is way better than using milk. Use French vanilla coffee creamer. I'll tell you what, this will curl your toes. A little bit like that. And we're gonna use some pepper. Oh, pepper. Pour it in like that. Ooh, right to the top. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Let's get a close-up shot of that. Just a little bit spilling over the edge. That's a beautiful thing. All right. Let me put my uh, hat camera down. And we'll get a view. Ugh. Oh, man. There you go. That's something. And we'll be back in a... All right, we've got countdown. Zero minus one minute. All right, about 20 seconds. Let's get ready. Boys and girls. Oh, my. Yay. All right, we're done. Let's get this bad boy out. London broil. See what she looks like. Mmm. Juicy. All right, let's get her over here. Get her snippers out. Move this, move that, get over there. Take another horn of our juice. Ah. All right, now you know it's sous vide. It doesn't look very appetizing at first. But it'll look pretty. See, look at that. I mean, I guess that doesn't look too bad. I'd eat it right now. Let's get a close up of that. She's shiny. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to transfer it over here to the cast iron. And then we're going to put the sous vide torch to it. And I want to leave all that juice on it. Because that's going to make a pretty fine crust. I won't make you guys... Well, let's turn the fan on. And I ain't going to make you guys watch all this. Because it takes a minute. So here we go. Whoops. Turn the fan on. Powerful. I'll just give you a little rundown in case you ain't never seen this. Keep the torch moving a little bit. Because you don't want that grody ass butane taste. Getting imprinted into your party. London Royal. Give me a minute and I'll be back with the result. Final result. 
End result. Look at that baby. We'll see if we can get this video done. Between my girlfriend doing crazy shit, watching stuff that's uh, copyrighted on the TV, and my kid coming down here bitching about French toast. We'll get through this together, though. Now, let me get my knife out. I'm going to pick this one. I know it's a chef knife, but nobody cares. Instead of a carving knife. And here's our chimichurri sauce. We better get that stirred up. We'll go for the fancy spin. I tried to get my girlfriend this video, but she ain't having it. For some reason. You can see her knee right there in the living room now. <laughs> All right, now let's cut this, but I failed to take into uh, consideration which way the grain is running because it shrank during the cooking, so I can't remember which way was which. So we're just going to go like this. We're just going to go straight down the center, see what it looks like. Remember, this is a London broil. Oh, yeah. Let's get a picture of that. Get a close-up. Ooh. That's pinky, and it smells good. Oh, God, that smells good. That's right. Let's get some uh, layers sliced off this bad boy. I'm going to go for a little, you know, a little thickness slice like that. Oh, God. That's going to be good. I can tell already. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm going to try a piece just by itself. And then I'll try some with a little churry on it. Chimichurri. And I ain't going to lie either. If it's disgusting, I'll tell you. And I ain't never had a London broil. So I have no clue what to expect. And we're going to try that piece. Look at that. That's good stuff right there, boys. And girls. Here goes my first try of a London broil ever. Mmm. Oh, God. Mmm. Damn. That's tender. Mm-hmm. So that was eight hours at 132 sous vide -ing. And I've got to say, that's, that's pretty about, about perfect. Slam some churri churro on here, though, and see what it looks like. I'm not very good at splashing stuff on steak, though. So I usually just eat my steaks without stuff on it. Ooh, that's a pretty thing right there, though. Look. Close up to that. Yep. All right. I don't think my girlfriend's coming out here to participate. So I'm going to take this piece. Here, let me get my helmet off again. Get a close-up of that bad boy. That is something. Right there. Definitely something. Bite. Mmm. Man. Damn, that's good. I make a hell of a sandwich, too. All right, we're out of here. I got some drinking to do. My girlfriend's going to go to bed early tonight. So you know what that means. I'm getting busy. <laughs> okay, we're out of here. Like, subscribe, thumbs up.
Thumbs down, thumbs sideways, if that's how you like it. We'll see you on the next one. Cooking and drinking. Honey!